It's another random buy, and it's a small one. Small but mighty, perhaps? Only $3, so for the price of a booster pack, I saw it on the shelf, and I said, why not? I was out for a bike ride because the weather is getting a little nicer and I just felt so cooped up, especially in my basement, which is where I do most of my work. Uh, and I was just like, you know what, bike ride, let's check out Valley Village. Sometimes they have Magic the Gathering cards or Pokemon cards there. And they're usually about $3 to $9, depending on the size of the pack. This pack was not very big and I saw the price tag of $3 and I said, you know what? It's got a foil 7th edition island right on the front there. Uh, I'm not even going to try to look through the tops, but you can actually mess, if you push the plastic down here, you can see the names of the top of the cards there. And I said, you know, it's not even worth doing that because uh, you know what, I think this island pays for the pack itself. So why not take the gamble? Maybe this is the only good card and the people at Valley Village, they knew this would be the card to put in the front to sell the package, but let's try it out anyways. It is only three dollars, so, ooh, nice. Okay, let's throw this out of here. Three dollar, ooh, see, I just love the old border foils, don't you? Look at that, beautiful sheen on there. Oh, I can see my reflection, oh, oh no. Okay, let's check these out. Beautiful seventh edition island to start things off. Oh, wait, isn't, isn't this a reserve list card? Okay, all right, we're starting off really, really, really good. Uh, we got Choking Sands here. Really, really nice. I'll put that there with the island. I think that's good. Healing uh, Salve. Not really sure the value of this. These are really ugly condition, though. Yikes. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. These two seem okay so far. Healing Salve. I think uh, that's not worth much. Blood Frenzy from Tempest. Look at that art. Just the blade stabbing right into that ogre. Oh, that's amazing. I love that. Power Sync. Another card from Tempest with beautiful art. By Jeff Miracola. This is back when they didn't have instant. They would call it interrupts. And then they changed that later on. Monstrous Growth. 7th edition, Ron Spencer right there. Words of Blasting from Mercadian Masks. Eric Peterson art there. So, so far I'm liking that it's mostly just old cards. I hope that's the way that this whole mini random buy goes throughout. Veil of Birds from Urza Saga. Sigil of Sleep, another card from the Urza block. Reliquary Monk, looking nice. Goblin Spelunkers. Mountain Walk. Goblin War Buggy. Oh, we got two. Ooh, Counterspell. Nice, from Ice Age. It's gotta be worth at least a dollar. Put that aside. Merfolk Looter from Exodus. Beaten up like crazy, though, but I'll take it. Uh, Ruffalo's Gift. Sky Hunter Prowler. Goblin Masons. Nice. We have a Horned Cheetah, uh, Armor Guild Mage from Mirage, Kavu Aggressor. Remember when Kavu was like one of the biggest tribes of magic? Whatever happened to that? Wild Might from Prophecy, Shield Mage Advocate. I'm going to slow roll this one. Savage Offensive. I think that's a Kavu there in the background. Honor Guard from, uh, what is that? Stronghold. Almost lost my... Ooh! Another foil! Foil from Odyssey. That's nice. Okay, that's going to that pile there. Another Blood Frenzy from Tempest. Orcish Aura Flame. Attacking creatures you control get plus one, plus zero. Spurred Wolverine. Martyr's Tomb. It's got some nastiness on the side there. Uh, Dirkwood Boars. Brass Claw Orcs. Look at that. It's two blades in the hand. Robber Fly. A Lava Blister. Off Balance. Moss Dog. Seal of Doom. A Fanatical Devotion. Sacrifice Creature Regenerate Target Creature. Not a bad enchantment. 
Uh, we have Alabaster Wall from Mercadian Masks. Disenchant, 7th edition is always a useful card. Flare from Ice Age. We have a Anaba Bodyguard, a Minotaur Bodyguard creature with First Strike. And uh, another one with different art. <laughs> oh! Wow! Okay. I think this is the best card of the lot so far. Blood Moon from Chronicles. This has to be almost around $15 at least. Wow. This is the second printing of the card. Obviously it was printed in the dark as its original copy. But nice. I do like that it has the original art there. That's beautiful. Put that aside for sure. Armor of Faith. Fire Whip. Lancers Encore. Tranquility. Highland Giant. I think that's on Portal. Cool. Uh, Balance. This is another guy. I think this is definitely worth over a dollar. I know that. This is not the revised version. But still, not bad. Putting that aside too. Hungry Mists. Mog Bombers. We have Winds of Wrath. I think that's a that's a decent card. I think that is. I'm not sure. Actually, I'll put that there. I'm not really sure. Dathu Trapper. We have Forbidden Ritual. Not bad. I think that's okay. Valras Garden. Uh, Ballista Squad. We have two of those. Lab Rats from Stronghold. We have Warrior Angel as well. And we have Anoint. Uh, we have Legger Domain from Tempest. Cool art. Tranquility again from Tempest. And we have Elvish Fury. Mog Conscripts. Another card from Tempest. A lot of cards in Tempest here. Treasure Hunter from Exodus. Ooh, nice. And we have uh, Evansur's Justice. Another card from Tempest. Another card from Tempest. Tooth and Claw. And a Dark Ritual. What the... Oh my goodness, have you ever seen a worse condition card? <laughs> oh my god. Now this has seen some play, my friends. This has definitely seen some play. I do like the older Dark Rituals, though. But my goodness. The extensive play that this has seen. Wow. Okay, well, moving on. Death Pulse. Invigorate. This is used in Legacy Infect, actually. We have Maze of Shadows as well from Tempest, and another Maze of Shadow to close things off. Not a bad little small random buy here. What do you guys think? Uh, these are the ones I know are worth something. Uh, I'll have to check the prices, obviously, as I edit the video, but not bad to get two foil, old border foil lands and a Blood Moon there. That is not bad. Let me know what you guys think of that. Really nice. I think that's pretty spicy. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and like and subscribe if you're new to the channel if this has found you out in youtube i do have more random buys uh, that i'll leave a playlist for uh, at the end of this video so please check those out if you have some time and with that being said please enjoy the rest of your day and yeah happy easter to everyone who's celebrating all right i will see you in the next one being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that i will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund, because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.